The freeze dryer finished up and our first batch of avocado puri is finished. And we're gonna show you guys how it looks and how to blend it up. And then we're gonna reincorporate some and see if we can get some guacamole out of this. homestead hope you're all doing well I'm excited to show you how the avocado puree has turned out I'm super super happy with it I'll show it to you here in a minute it's right here on the counter and what we're gonna do is uh, break it up it's really an interesting just to look at it and I want I want you to take a look at it I just took the trays and flipped them out onto a bigger tray that I have but they just kind of snap uh, stacked nicely and so I'm hoping they'll break apart pretty easily. I have a Vitamix that my um, in-laws, mixed parents, uh, were really kind to give me a few Christmases ago. It is the smaller version of Vitamix so I will have to do quite a few batches to powder this up uh, I think anyways and we'll just see how long that takes me and then once I get that incorporated um, and I'll go ahead and speed up that part of the video so we're not doing that forever. Once we get that all done, you can see how much this created powder wise. I wish I had pre-weighed the avocado puree because I didn't, but I have another batch, same exact size, and I'm going to weigh that to see how much it is. And then we can see how many pounds that is versus what size container that fits in once it's powdered uh, and so forth. And then once we're finished with all that, um, I will go ahead and uh, Try and whip up a batch of guacamole, putting some seasonings and stuff in that and, and see how it works. It's kind of exciting uh, to me to have shelf stable avocados, right? I have some more avocados that I have bought, um, frozen ones that I bought from Costco. So I am just freeze drying all those up right now. That's kind of my goal is to do that and kind of make a shelf stable avocado and get some room in my freezer. So I will put the weight and stuff uh, in this video. In fact, um, I will go ahead and insert it right now in a picture, although I'm actually going to be doing it later. So, okay, let's get started. All right, here we go. See how this breaks apart. It just feels kind of so interesting how it feels. Now, let's see if you can kind of see the, the texture in the inside. I don't know if that's going to adjust very well for you, but... Yeah, that's really interesting. It almost feels like packing material at this point <laughs> that you would put into a, a box to keep things good to go. Oh my goodness, how funny. All right, let's just scratch in. Okay, we're going to go ahead and pre-crumble to an extent, and then we can put a little bit more in there and go from there.
Okay, so we're all ready to go. I want you to know that why I switched the camera around just now, I also added about a tablespoon of lemon juice to this water because I always put lemon in my guacamole. So I'm just gonna start adding and see how this goes. And I know that when you pre-buy freeze-dried foods, they already have the ratios and all that, but I really think texture really depends on each individual and you know, the, none of those are exactly set in stone. You can kind of make it how it works for you. So obviously, that's not enough for me. You can see the chunks that are in there that I was referring to. Like I said, I like that, so we're going to leave it that way. Let me just see how this works out. Keep adding it in. Oh, she's getting thicker. The other reason I thought kind of doing it in this manner would be good is just also you can just um, you know, make sure each bit of it is incorporating into your liquid really well. When you're rehydrating things from the dehydrator, you often um, cover them with water and let them sit for a bit. Now that's looking like guacamole. Yeah. I think I might put one more scoop in that. Maybe a scoop and a half. Well, that made a lot. When I put that cup and a half of water in there, I wasn't really thinking about, once you add this, your volume, you're looking at probably, I don't know, like I said, three to three cups or so, depending on how thick you make it. Mm. Okay, now we're going to season it up. You could chop up some onions in here. You could rehydrate some dehydrated onions on the side and then stick that in here. You could do the same with tomatoes. And I'm going to put some... Uh, granulated garlic and some salt in here and play with it and I'll be right back. Okay, now for the fun part. Let's taste this. See how it turned out. Mm. Yeah, I'm kind of excited. Shelf stable avocados. That's pretty awesome. Uh, if you're wondering what I put in it, I didn't measure, I put a little chili powder, I put in, and I only put a little bit of that because my kids can't handle like a huge amount, at least not in guacamole. I put in some onion powder, some granulated garlic, and some salt, and that was it. Like I said, you could really spoof it up by throwing in some other tomatoes and onions and stuff like that. This is awesome. I'm super excited. Uh, so, you know, when the apocalypse hits, I'm going to be eating guacamole and making homemade tortillas. How about you? <laughs> All right. I was just messing around. Anyways, hope you're all doing amazing and uh, that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Trying to grow the channel and we're getting there a little bit at a time and only because of people like you. So I greatly appreciate you. I hope you're having a great day. God bless and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.